So I went down to go to that game by myself. There were no, no northeastern branches of Tramie Road supporters club. There was me and one of the lads who was a Tramie fan from Birkenhead. And that was it. But uh, the, the highlight of that game was Palios. Uh, yeah, he gave Alan Ball a total chasing. And it, Arsenal put their full team out as well. And um, I just I rang my dad. <laughs> and he said, yeah, you're down there, right? I said, yeah, I just finished the game. Just ringing from um, Houston Station. And I was, I was just singing and dancing in, in my head all the way home. Brilliant. Well, that Isn't must have been an incredible one to be at, that Arsenal game, because... Um... We we're recording this actually the the day after the anniversary of it. It was fifty one years ago uh, yesterday. I mean, you you you've done the history. You've you've looked at all the games. Is that the biggest win in Tranmere's history in terms of not necessarily what it meant for the club, like the win over Bolton or the win over yeah. Boreham Wood, which got them promoted? But in terms of the size of the opposition that they beat, has there been anything better than that Arsenal win? No, frankly. You just look at the Arsenal team and the all internationals. Ray, Ray Kennedy and um, how was this? Uh, the, the striker, Rad, Peter Rad, Radford. Uh, it, was a, it was a hell of a team. Bob Wilson was a goalkeeper, if I remember rightly. All international, Scottish international. So I think... Uh, uh, to win to win that game was a major retreat achievement, but don't forget we had to win it with, with the players we had, and they they, they deserve a pat on the back as well. People like Ronnie Moore, what a player he was at centre half, Madrid, and Ron Yates, and of course uh, he was he was playing there centre half rather than centre forward in those days. Ronnie, Ronnie Moore. But he was just as good in either one of them. But when he scored was it 37 goals in a season sometime, he was a top notch player, good player. So that, that Tramia team against uh, Bolton, against, sorry, against Arsenal was not a team of toughers. They were a good team. But they were playing against a team of internationals and they beat them. What can you, what can you say? I wonder if we could cast our mind back as well to when Johnny King came in um, for that second spell and when Peter Johnson had obviously already taken over the club by then. Kingy masterminds the win over Exeter on the final day of the 86-87 season. They stay up and then from there, it's uh, it's an incredible journey really, isn't it? I mean, could you really believe what a ride the club was going on when you were part of it and you were watching them? They'd come from the, the absolute pits of the bottom of Division 4 in the mid-1980s to challenge him for the Premier League? No, 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 I was astonished. But if anyone was going to do it, it would be Kingy, because you know, you, from previous experience, you know he loves the club or loved the club. And he would give his uh, everything he had to, to make sure it uh, progressed. And now he has some backing. And uh, the, f- the fees for uh, Nixon was uh, 15 grand, I think. Harvey, 20 grand. And uh, Steeling was at uh, 50. Yeah. So good signings for, for little, uh, little money. And when you think about, when you think about Kingy's uh, legacy, the number of um, young lads who came through, Thomas Brennan, no one in the USA, nothing from Rimmerine. Um, it's just astonishing. That period was um, uh, one of um, good signings, sensible signings, very few squad, squad signings that you knew. Like currently, we've got six or never play in the first team. In uh, Kingy's era, it wasn't like that. Yeah, we had some good players, really good players. 
And a lot of it was down to him and Ronnie Moore together. And then, of course, when Ronnie Moore was a manager himself, he, he, we were pretty close to promotion from the current League One to League Two. We were top of the top of that league for about uh, six or seven weeks. So Ronnie's, Ronnie's proven his uh, pedigree too.